So we've got the tyres fitted on the Range Rover. All terrains, General Grabber AT Freeze. You saw the video previously when we had them fitted. Now there is a bit of a drama going on with these tyres. Some of you will know that watch the live stream. Um, that'll be coming up in a future video. But I was popped over to mum and dad yesterday and um, we did a bit of off-roading. I took some rifles over, we did a bit of shooting and um, their land is a bit more hilly than ours. Obviously we've got some little ups and downs but nothing drastic. So. We popped over to mum and dad's and did some uh, off-roading, so I'll let you have a look at that footage now. Risking it. Not liking that. No. A bit of run up.
as you can see, it did fairly well. Um, they do get quite dirty, these tyres. <laughs> and when I started driving it up the road, all I could hear was mud being flung up underneath the car for a good couple of miles. Um, obviously, all tyres have their limitations. These are all terrains, and I don't know how what sort of bias it is, road percentage to off road. I think it's, I've read somewhere that it's eighty percent on road, twenty percent off road. Um, they're more aggressive than the tyres we had on it, but they're not as aggressive as like a mud terrain or something like that. But it did well. I mean, that was crap conditions yesterday when we was off roading. It's wet grass, wet grass and leaves. You know, obviously a mud terrain is just going to dig in and pull itself straight up. Uh, if it was dry, that would have been a totally different scenario yesterday. It would have probably even got up that steep bit where it just sat there wheel spinning. Um, but I was really chuffed with it. I mean, we don't do a lot of off-roading. Um, but having a car that's ca as capable as the Range Rover and having decent tyres on it for doing a little bit of off-road, um, it does make the difference. So... Yeah, I'm chuffed with it. I say there is a bit of a drama going on with these tyres at the moment. Um, which probably the next Range Rover video coming out, we'll, I'll go through it and explain what's happening. Oh, it's one headache after another. But there's nothing wrong with the, nothing to do with the car. It's to do with me and the twat of a tester. Anyway, I won't send this video down the toilet. It's uh, nice and upbeat. It did very, very, very well off-road, and I was quite pleased with it. So, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please click the old thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.